So why would they send this to me? No fat bloke who goes around in his camper van with his dogs. Well, I don't know a lot about technology, this type of stuff and watches, but I do know a lot about the outdoors. And this is the type of stuff I get up to. <laughs> landscape really well it's always good to have a map there's not many markers out there there's one white pole for that feeding tree there's a cane over there and the rest of it's open more hi everyone hope you're well i'm out in the camper van and it's a typical bank holiday weekend up on the moors it's chucking it down with rain and blowing a gale and the whippets i can't really get them from in front of the arga come on So while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, let's talk about this. I've had this sent to me. This is the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS and it runs on Google software. And I've had uh, one sent to me to review and to keep. And there's a second one of these as a giveaway. And this one is, I don't have the second one. I need to supply your information or the winner of the uh, giveaways information across to the people that supply this to me and they'll post it out to you direct. This is only available for people who live in the UK or across Europe. So if you're in the States and um, Canada or Australia I'm afraid or New Zealand and I, I know I have quite a few viewers over there it's not for you this one. So across the UK or across Europe. And uh, I've had this for a few days now and I've been trying to go out and uh, film it. And I go out with all weathers, it doesn't really bother me, but um, it's not conducive to actually trying to film something. So I absolutely love the outdoors and the outdoor activities and um, you know for most of my life I've been doing those. I've, I used to be an outdoor pursuits instructor and I've got qualifications in practically every outdoor pursuit you can think of. All the water sports, mountaineering, climbing, just about everything really. But I enjoy it myself. Um, I'm a CEO of a charity that I set up um, called Cat Zero that has an around the world racing yacht and we use lots of acti outdoor activities and adventure activities as part of development as part of that. And I suppose that's why I have a camper van and live in a little cottage on top of a hill in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the moorland. Um, but having the camper van is like my mobile adventure bus so I'm constantly modifying and adapting this and if you see some of my previous videos you'll see constantly adding to it and changing things and it's nearly there no camper van's ever finished but it's nearly there so we're having the garage in the back I have lots of dry bags with all my water sports gear in I can get all the windsurf canoes kayaks and anything else I want on the roof and I can put my fishing gear in here I have just about everything I need and where I can just go and the thing I like about that is I can just go and if I turn up somewhere I don't have to think oh I wish I'd have brought so and so or I wish I'd have brought this or I wish I hadn't have brought a canoe and I should have brought a kayak because I can take them both I can take all the gear with me so my van's like a, a mini outdoor centre and um, <clears throat> this watch is really interesting to me I've only done one um, watch review previously and um, that was for another smart watch and that was great and I enjoyed using it and it was particularly good when I was out on my mountain bike but this one has the added ben uh, benefits of a GPS built in as well and being able to pick maps up so and you don't need the internet 
to uh, use the GPS section on it as well, which is obviously critical. So you can literally have a mini map on your watch when you're out and about. And for me, that's great. I can do all the navigation, the micro navigation, done all that type of stuff on ordnance survey maps and everything else with the compass and paces and everything you need to do um, when you're leading groups and doing it as a profession. But having this for me is great because what I like to do is I like to go somewhere, have a quick look around and go for a walk. Usually dragging them poor two dogs with me and maybe Joe as well and get to a particular point and then think, where the hell am I? And then I'd normally get the map out, work out where I am and pick a route back. But having this, I don't have to do that. I could just look on this, it track where you're actually going. And as long as it's picking up a GPS system, which nowadays it should do absolutely fine, no, no matter where you are in the world, you can actually know your location. And you can, uh, there's various apps you can have on this and you can have an app that actually gives you OS grid references as well as standard GPS coordinates. So if you was in somewhere and the weather was coming down or you got a bit lost or you end, or what I do, just wandered off and didn't know where you was, you can actually get an OS map out, look at the grid reference uh, positioning on this, check it on your OS map and come back or just follow the trails and zoom out and zoom in on this to find out where you need to be so amazing versatile piece of kit and it's the first one that i've actually seen with the gps in and i've when this when i was asked to review this i did what everybody does and had a look on youtube and there's lots of very positive reports of this particular watch um, and there's a lot more technical detail out there and that if you google it and look on youtube there's lots of very technical information about all the software and the processing and everything else but this tick watch pro 3 ultra gps is is judged by people that know these things as one of the best if not the best gps watch you can get which i think is pretty incredible <laughs> it's got far more function on that i would actually use but there's a lot of things on here I do use. So if we look at some of the functions it mentions on here. So it uses um, Google as its um, processing and links through Google. So all the functions you basically get on Google, you can actually get through this watch. Um, just pick out a few on here. It's military standard, so it's been tested by the military. And whatever the standard 810G is, so they've obviously proved it. It works up to 72 hours of battery life in smart mode and uh, 45 days in essential mode. And that's if you're not monitoring your heartbeat and everything else all the time, that's the variation between the two. It's waterproof, obviously, as you'd expect. It's actually got a very interesting function on it as well. If you get water into the speaker or the microphone, there's a, there's a setting on there that actually puts an high pitch, high volume beep out and it clears the water out of the sockets of that google assist so you can actually speak to it which is great so if you're going abroad somewhere you can actually press uh, google assist or google translate and just ask it and say how do you say this in italian or how do you say this in german and it will li literally speak it for you so that could be really useful if you're doing some european travels built-in gps as we talked about dual screen and it's got all your heart rate sensors on there as well so it can it can monitor to see if you have any fibrillation issues with your heart you can set it for parameters when you're exercising for rest rate and when you're actually exercising to get the best performance and it also monitors your sleep as well so this is the actual watch and if you can see it there hopefully you can see this on the camera it's got a very dull screen and this is in its standby mode so you can still see the time the date and some of the functions that are going on but if you tilt it when it's on your wrist it pops up which is whichever app you've got and this is currently on the one of the gps settings for the map it's on google maps is this one and you can literally zoom out or zoom in to your particular location and as i say it doesn't need the internet to do this this is just the built-in GPS as part of what it is. So I really, really like that function. But actually, um, the screen, so looking at the different screens here, if you press the centre of it, there's a number of screens there which you can choose from. And there's a long list on here. And there's also an app or you can download various ones as well. Um, some of them you have to pay for, but I think most of these are free of charge, 
You can choose which one you want. I particularly like that one. And on there, that's the resting heart rate, which isn't set up at the moment. That's how many steps I've done today. And it, you can go into this and it says how long you've been exercising for, how many uh, steps you've done and how many minutes you've been exercising for. And you can set how you're feeling on that particular day and it will monitor your mood as well. But the exercise apps on this are quite interesting because you go into the app store and you can basically, there's a lot of things in there that you can already, that are already programmed in that you can choose. But you can also go into Google store and you can choose practically anything that you can get on Google. So they're all available there. I don't know if this will do because I haven't got an internet here. But you're literally just going to Google, oh, there we go, and it allow you to choose those or you can you can have um, YouTube music all sorts all sorts of stuff on there Amazon music Amazon store all sorts of bits and pieces just about anything you can think of and it also has the function to search so if you go into the search you can either speak or type it into there and search for that particular app you want if you press the top button it goes into all those functions we've just looked at, so all your settings or if you want to search for something. But there's various ones on there. There's a few I've actually downloaded to the phone, so it does have a memory on the phone, which is quite big. And you can put all your various things on there as you require. But also, if you move that down quite easily, you can put it onto silent mode, you can have Google Pay, you can have aeroplane mode, and if you lost your mobile phone, you can actually press the button and it'll make your phone ring. If you want to brighten the screen, you press the button twice and it lights up and stays on for a period of time. And all these functions are alterable, so you, you can change how long the screen stays on for, how bright it is, how dark it is, the size of the screen. There's a function on it you double tap and it, it makes the screen bigger, enlarges the features on the screen. So it's very well thought out. If you press the bottom button, it goes into the preset functions for your exercise. And there's a list of various things there. And if you go into more, it goes to all sorts of things from archery, arm curls, badminton, basketball, baseball, volleyball. Just about every conceivable sport you could think of has a pre-built in function for it. To end the exercise, you just press the bottom button and switch it off. And then it'll tell you how long, how many calories, all the information you want. And you can go into these actually on the app on your phone and look into it a lot more detail. I recently did a video on this Carpo Ride. And this is like transferring your phone onto a bigger screen. And it has the CarPlay mode in it, like modern cars do. And there's a video up there if you want to have a look about it and more detail. But this is like another version of this watch really. It links all your functions for your watch uh, from your phone onto your watch and you can use all the functions independently on your watch as well. So as well as having that set up there, you can almost take the same sort of device and have it on a watch. We need to announce the winner of the Carefuel power unit, the uh, 500 watt power station and uh, this unit here. And this unit is going to, and as usual we don't know because we're filming this before the closing date, but I'll put a slide in now, and if this slide is you, you should have already received a comment through the original video to say you're the winner. And we need you to email us at onemanandhiswhippet at gmail.com and we'll communicate with you to get this in the post to you and get it out to you. And uh, there'll be no charge for postage, we just need to get it out for you and um, be aware there's lots of scammers around as usual. We won't ask you for any postage, we won't ask you to send us anything and we'll only communicate through the comments on YouTube and through our one man and his whippet at gmail.com email address. Thanks for everybody who entered, there's a lot more giveaways to come and hope you enjoy the rest of the video. There's an app, well there's actually two apps, one's the set apart for the actual phone and then the other app is this one. So all the information and your health information and your navigation and fitness, heart rate and everything else is all logged onto the, the app. And you can go into this and look at it in more detail and do various settings on it as well. So there it is, the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS, bit of a long name. <laughs> and as I say, there's one of these to give away. And as normal, um, you just need to put a comment in this video to say, I want one. 
and it's only open to UK and people in Europe and we'll randomly pick one by this closing date and if there's not a closing date it'll be in the description and we'll contact you through the comments of this video and then we'll communicate through my one man and his whippet at gmail.com email address and we'll find out your information and we'll send it on to the company to tick watch and they'll contact you directly and post one out to you thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you on the next one